Barry here and in this video um, we're going to do a training video on how to do a spring plan. So if I click in up here on the top right and uh, I can see I can do my spring planner in this tab, my autumn planner in this tab. Uh, you can see that I have a few um, plans already in there but I'm going to show you how to do, if I wanted to edit an existing one I just click on edit or view over here and I can try a plan and delete it later on if it's not what I want. So I'm going to do a new spring rotation planner. Uh, in here you can see the total hectares that's available in all the paddocks that's on the software. Um, my start rotation length is, uh, I'm saying that I want to start off on a rotation length of 120 and that I want to finish, so that's the day the cows go out for the first time, I'm going to try and rotate the farm um, uh, on a rotation of 120. Um, when I get to the start of the second round, I want to be going around the farm uh, every 18 days. Um, it then, you know, say, well, when are you going to put your uh, stock out? So let's say um, we'll aim to get out on the first of the second of 11. And then the second question is, when do you want to start the second round? And let's say in this case, the 12th of the fourth, 11. So um, trying to get cows out on the 1st of February, which is ambitious, but we're doable depending on weather, and then the start of the second round on the 12th of the 4th. In most farms, you'd aim, that would aim to be the magic day or the day in which the growth, the expected growth of grass um, would be the same as the expected intake or demand on grass. Now, if you're as you get more experienced in grassland management, you tend to try and start your second round a little bit before the magic date, but if you're new then you would ex you would try and aim that you start the second round the day, uh, the time of the spring when grass is growing quicker than it can be eaten. Um, so if I click in and create my plan here, it brings up the plan itself and you can see I still have my five variables up here in the top left as I've entered them. Uh, the notes boxes where you can type in whatever you want, um, you can type in yourself if you're working with a farm, a dairy advisor or grassland advisor, they might log in from their computer and type in notes for you, for you to follow as well. Um, as I scroll down a little bit here, you can see that this is a visual representation of what we're trying to achieve. We want to start off at a rotation of 120 on the 1st of February, uh, which means that I need to do 0.2 um, per day. And then I want to end up on the um, 12th the 4th and we want to that means on that day we want to do an allocation of 1.35 and what that is represented then in week by week so um, based on the first of the second 07 um, this is 0 0.2 again so over seven days that's 1.4 hectares so in the first week at the end of the first week we need to have nearly six percent of the farm completely grazed out so I have a week by week breakdown and you can see then as I come down here I have 114 percent at the end of the 11th of the 4th. And if I just go down a little bit further, um, see that I have this date here, the expected date to reach the start of the second round is the 8th of the 4th. Now we set up further that we want to do that by the 12th of the 4th, and the 8th of the 4th isn't too bad, so that's not a, uh, that's a plan that wouldn't be, you know, quite, quite okay. And I'll show you, this is an important thing, this 8th of the 4th is important because I'll show you what you need to watch out for here because you know you need to be realistic on the combination of the of the information up here like you're basically saying I'm going out very early I'm going to eat very small amount of grass each day just to you know allocate the the, the grass in a, in a nice manner over the spring period if you went out and you were very uh, overly ambitious that you said I want a rotation end of 50 the day I put the cows out on the first of February in that case you will end up uh, definitely going through the farm too fast and you'll definitely get into the start of your second round too quick. Um, if I come down here, see that date has changed to the 15th of the 3rd. So you can see there, while you said you want to be out, uh, start the second round on the 12th of the 4th, because you are you put the cows out and you're, you're going around the farm too quick, you're, you're, it's just not going to work. It, it can't work. So you'd be in the second round on the 15th of March and you'd have a serious grass problem then where everything has gone mid-March and you know, it would take a long time to recover from that. So you, the way to, if you know that your start date 
is the first to the second. If you know that your magic date or your 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 start of your magic date and start of second round are not the same thing, but people um, would tend to work with that initially, and maybe uh, after a while, I get uh, after a period of getting more experience of what's going on, they might have the start of the second round a little bit before the the, the expected magic date. Um, but the one variable that you can change is the start rotation and how quickly in the first week to go out, how quickly do you want them to move through the paddocks. So 50 is way too ambitious. So we go back to the 120. So that looks like a... So again, what we're saying here, then if I update that, we're saying we want to start the second round on the 12th to the 4th based on an initial rotation length of 120 and going down to a rotation length then of 18, starting on that date, ending on that date. Um, th that actually works out where we the program would expect that we would get to the... Um, start of the second round on the 8th to the 4th and there's only f three or four days there's only four days obviously between the 8th to the 12th and you say that's fine because it's not just going to work as ideal as that with weather conditions changing and so forth so you can see how it's important to uh, get the four variables to, to be logical and uh, just keep an eye on this keep an eye on this thing here Th this record here the expected start of the second round has to match your desired start of the second round um, with the software, uh, you do your spring plan at the start of the spring and then obviously you go out and do your measurements each week or each fortnight. And as you enter the measurements or covers into the software, the software will ask you, well, what paddocks did you graze during the week? So the software will keep track of how many paddocks did you graze and it will obviously know the area of each of the paddocks. So it's able to tot up uh, uh, the actual area that you've grazed in the week today. So while the computer expects you to have 19% of the farm done by the end of the third week, um, if you do your covers from week to week, it'll actually count up how much you actually achieved. So you might have wanted to do 19, but you only achieved 10%. So you'll know then that you're behind and that you have to move through the grass a little bit quicker to try and catch up. And as I scroll down here, as you do your covers, you can see that the red line is the actual uh, the planned uh, rate of um, consumption of, of the going through the first round. As you do your grass covers and you put in your grazing dates, the green line will show you how uh, if you're keeping on track or not. So that's uh, just a quick overview of how to do a spring plan. Again to summarize, an important thing is to know um, wh when are the cows um, going to calve? When do you think you're going to start grazing? When do you think the magic day is coming? When would you like to start your second round? Um, the uh, end rotation length um, is going to be reasonably fixed. It's going to be around the 18 to 20 or something in that range. The thing that's quite variable is 120. Obviously, the later you get out, uh, the later you put the cows out in the spring, the shorter the start rotation length is going to be. And uh, always keep an eye on if you want to start the second round the 12th to the 4th, just keep an eye on this. Uh, down here, it'll tell you uh, based on the, the plan you put in when it thinks you're going to reach the second round. They have to be very close together. So that's it. I'm going to leave it there and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go on. In the next video, we'll, we'll cover a different subject. Thank you.